what she's saying is doing it by yourself and doing it in a group, w because she was in a workshop, was, is very different. And it is very different. Why? In a group, you have people pushing you past you. I mean, you're going to guard your own Achilles heel. A group isn't going to do that. You're going to hide from that information that you don't really want to work with. A group isn't going to do that. And I'm not going to do that in a group. I'm tough in a group. Um, that is why we do the Twitter exercises and the sleep exercises. And I really encourage you to do this book in a group with other people also, you know, to pick a group of friends to do it with, usually with your interests. So if all of, if 10 of you are interested in following the market in detail every day or doing commodities, that's a good group for you. If you're, 10 of you are healthcare practitioners, that would probably be a good group for you. And I'm trying to develop the website to help get those of you together who want to do that. However, the Twitter exercises do that. Because when I say connect your energy with the group, just like when you embody, what I'm saying is engage every sense and awareness in the reality that you are part of an interconnected universe, that there is absolutely nothing that is not connected to you. And and having that experience on a more conscious level takes practice. And when I don't want to change, I tend to avoid that experience. But, but it is a very important thing to practice. Oh, wait a second. I'm having my attention here, but actually I'm interconnected. So, so with that interconnection, I'm vulnerable, A. So what do I need to get rid of? Who or what do I need to get out of me? Who's manipulating me? What's manipulating me? What news is stuck in me that's uh, influencing my choices? What dialogues telepathically are going on in my head? Who's trying to seduce me right now? Do I want to be seduced? I'm make conscious choices. So t to A, clear your field, because we're vulnerable as well as powerful in this field. And then the best way to clear it is to have clear targets. These are the people or markets or situations I choose to dialogue with. Um, here are the actual actions that are coming up for me over and over and over again. Uh, gee, six coincidences that say exactly the same thing happened today. What, what does that say about how I need to position myself in the field? I mean, it, I don't want to tell all my own personal stories and waste your time with that, but my experience, the Twitter exercises this week have been extremely powerful for me. I, I, I hope they have been for you too. And literally have changed me in ways I have not changed in 50 years because of the people in the group, because of the field, because of maybe the time of year, because the, the gr our group is getting bigger so there are more people working on one thing, which of course makes the group so much more powerful. Because I did a workshop, so whenever I do a workshop in my purse is the list of everybody's new reality in the group, everybody's wish in the group. So you, ne you need to find your experience of being interconnected even when you think you're not, because the thought that you're not is an illusion. And the people and events, you know, often the most useful things are not when you walk into your true love or you walk into your perfect job, but when the same obstacle smacks you in the face three times in a day. Because then you say, hey, I need a mouth guard. And I need to look at what it is, and I say look because I tend to see, I need to experience what it is that I'm doing to put myself in these situations. I mean, I believe in people taking ultimate responsibility for themselves once they're over a certain age, um, only because ultimate responsibility gives you ultimate power. So if it's you, if it's not what was done to you, but it's you, you can then make some wonderful choices about it. Um, but I do encourage doing it in a group and also asking, I mean, those of you who are on my list know I am shameless about just asking for help. 
And I, what often you don't see is that I answer over a thousand emails a day and spend time finding you agents or a doctor on your plan or a gastroenterologist in Alaska who I know something about. Or you know, I mean, it's not just the field, but actually, who are we in community? And I'm a big believer in in may, in experience the field, the fact that we're all connected in an actual physical way as well. You know, when you create community, you're so empowered, or I have found that I am so empowered the more I create community. Those of you on my Facebook know this week, I, I really looked at the people who write the reviews, who, I mean, some people don't have the money to buy the books, but who at least send me the address of their local library to send the book to, you know, who, who put it on their websites and Twitter it and this and that. And I made a file of those people. And I'm going to devote myself to those people. And I post it on the website. You know what? It's always the same people. You people are now my friends. And I want to know you. And I'm going to spend this year, I'm going to meet every single one of those people. Because I want them in my life. Because I'm one of those kinds of people. And that's what you need to look at. Who do you want in your life? You know, everyone always goes for like the director. It's the hair and makeup that spreads the word. <laughs> You know, we often target the wrong people and everybody has something to offer.